called If These Walls Can Talk. Down here in downtown Aurora on Stolt Street. Take a look around you where we're at. Here's the tallest building in Kane County called the Leland Tower. We're right next to Millennium Park here. And we're also going to have the Dream Car Park down here. The reason we're making this video is because I'm going to show my artwork. Now, you've seen a lot of this artwork, but but I'm actually going to have a one-man show. Come on in. 30, 32 South Stolt Street. And the phone number to the gallery is 331-212-5962. And, and take a look here at this contemporary artwork here. Everything's for sale in the gallery. And, and they have all these individual stands. Everything is painted in white. If you know anything about our project, when we turn these neon lights on, it's going to change this room to green and pink and blue and red. It's going to be plain exciting. Take a, take a look here. She's also running a frame. Where are you? Hi. I haven't seen you since Friday, and we're just so excited and then, uh, and, uh, Jennifer, this is my son that's Hi. shooting the video. Hi, how and, are you? And I'm Greg Zanis, <laughs> and, and this is our, anyway, you guys know I'm so You're excited. excited. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm painting. <laughs> and, and Jennifer, one of the things I want to tell you is, I called Channel 11, it's called Chicago tonight, mm -hmm. and they're going to cover the opening. Oh, they're going to give so us nine neat. minutes. And I, I wasn't honest with you, but I've been on TV three times with the project. Oh, so? So <laughs> I, I called the Discovery Channel in Canada. They're going to get back with us. So, oh, great. You know, okay, so fantastic. Yeah, and then I'm going to have to, yeah, and and gonna have to get the dates. On set, opening so. day. On opening day. But we need to, I, I'm going to set, I'm looking at my calendar in advance okay. so we can make sure we, we have the show. Go ahead and tell Chris your name and spell it. Um, my name is Jennifer Rauch, and my last name is spelled R A U C H. And I'm co-owner of the gallery here. And, Name the gallery. Uh, uh, if, if these walls could talk here in uh, Aurora, Illinois. So it's just what we do. We, what, what's the address? We are at 32 South Stolp Avenue in downtown Aurora. And then kind of, you know, I'm going to do island. a lot of talking, but pretty much I'm, I have an opportunity here to do a one-man show with my futuristic artwork that I... You guys have seen a lot of this on TV already. It's been on the Discovery Channel. It's been on Channel 2. We just watched that nine-minute video last night, and, and the people were just ecstatic watching it. They didn't know that about me. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, Chicago Tonight, Channel mm -hmm. 11, WTTW, has given me a verbal that they're going to cover the opening event and do nine minutes of, of you know, a month later. But oh, well, yeah, later. no worries. Yeah. I've been no control of that, but Christian Farr was the, um, the guy. And uh, let's let anything else we want to say. <laughs> oh, I have no and, idea. Uh, Step out here and look at the gallery. This is the pretty part. Thanks. This is where the work happens. <laughs> I want I want you to know they they have a liquor license, so it, it sounds like on the opening we may have wine. Am I putting we'll in there? A little bit of wine and a little bit of cheese. You yeah, know, you can't and we, have art without wine and cheese. We we actually don't have the date yet. And I want to remind everybody that Tim is also one of the guys that he seems like a great guy. I talked to him awesome. on the telephone, yeah. and he kind of gave me a well, maybe she won't like the modern stuff, but <laughs> but I, like I say, I came down here with a portfolio. Mm -hmm. Do you know where that's at? Yes, I do know where that's at. I'm still holding on to that. Okay. For a that was my reminder to say, oh, I've got a contact. <laughs> Ta-da! I'd like to show you some of these. Quickly here. This is a tunnel, and inside we'll have our little electric car for the exhibit. And and by the way, a lot of these things are going to be for sale. We we haven't discussed a price, and that also goes on a pedestal. This is called the B unit, and um, this is it also. I'm just doing a quick overview. This is the car in the tunnel. Okay. And, and this is the tunnel again. Now, this we're not going to sell this cheap. We're not going to sell this cheap. This is our opportunity to also go into some Chicago galleries. So if we put a price of $30,000 on this and don't sell it, that allows me 
the opportunity to sell it again in another mm -hmm. gallery. Yeah. And right now I have 50 pieces, but I'm you know probably only going to fit 25 in here. That's what I'm guessing. Yeah. You know, I mean the pieces of sculpture take up more space. Right. Yeah. And I just anyway end of video. I just thought I'd tell you a little bit about this. Hooray! Possibly in 215 in June. And uh, I just, like I say, I'm too excited, and we're going to post this video right away. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm checking through the calendar okay. for next um, next year, uh -huh. and I, it'll probably either be May or July. I'm not sure. Well, like I say, a, this is my first showing. I've been doing this artwork for over 40 years here, and uh, this is the first time we're ever going to get to show the fabulous pyramid, the wedges, the topography, well, the tunnel, the dream car. It's very appropriate that it starts here in Aurora as we are Absolutely. the city of lights. I think I told you, I called every gallery in Aurora and a couple of other galleries offered me to four, four pieces. That's not what I want. Oh, this no, this is a well, one-man like show. We'll do the whole light. I, I can't yeah. tell you as an artist and being married to an artist how exciting that is to me. <laughs> oh, I'm coming out of the closet, kind of bad thing to say, but you know. Hold on one second, I gotta handle this. Okay, door. we're done, we're done. Thanks, Chris. I mean, I've said your name twice now. Do you want to see any more of these here? They're... Here's some of the wedges. Here's some of the paintings. That's called the Big Dipper. Of course, you're looking at it upside down. And um, this is called New Chicago. It's a monster painting. It's it's three foot by four foot or something that much larger. This is called Mars. Escape. And Next thing you know, oh, oh here's a um, new Chicago painting. This is a, a escape on the moon. These get repetitive, but this one's on the Fox River, showing a light beam entering the pyramid and going back out again. And as, as I've told you before, this is a light speed theory. We don't know if she's gonna let us have that big tower in here yet. This one right here, it's, it's seven or eight feet tall, or nine feet tall. So, you know, I know she has to come over and view these things because, like I say, it's a lot more than she has any idea. Right, <laughs> right, Jennifer? Right. You know, and, and Jennifer, this is one of my favorite pieces. This is called the, the topography, but it's actually the Fox River. It's actually right here on Herd's Island. Oh, perfect. You know, so it's very pertinent. Like Jennifer said, to have this show here in Aurora, this goes from Aurora to Elgin. Well, we're also the City of Lights, so... City of Lights, yeah, there you go. <laughs> and, of course, these walls could talk is... I've always wanted to show this artwork, Jennifer. And, and you know, this, this just the title of your gallery it sounds exciting to us. <laughs> and, of course, we, we are going to discuss this. I may only bring one half of the pyramid down here for fear or hope of selling it because I don't know if you understand I don't want to lose my project mm -mm, and no, not no, have no. anything to show no 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 no. and then also Jennifer well how, how big is this it's four foot but it's on a pedestal oh that's fine and then also you sell online right no we don't sell online oh. I mean we sell the artwork online if somebody's interested they contact us and we'll contact you and yeah so get everything you have an ready. online presence yeah. Is there anything else you want to say during this, or am I getting... Oh, no, you go right on ahead. Okay. And, and like I've said before, these things are so hard to photograph. You, you can't sit here and look at that stuff. You've got to come down to this showing to see what's really going on. This is almost the same thing here and here, with and without lighting. I, I can't tell you how awesome these are. If you take a look in here, you'll see I have plant life inside of every single unit. So this is a total, a total ecosystem. You can live in these buildings in outer space. Of course, people say I'm a nutcase, but the worst, <laughs> the worst thing is I believe that this can be done. So Jennifer's offering me the opportunity of being an artist, which really brings me down to my level here because, because I've always been out there thinking, you know, this already happened, you know, I was born with this. If you remember me talking to you, I started this project when I was four and five years old. My dad was so mad, he would throw the stuff out the window and burn it and smash it. I, had, I have a crayon drawing of 1954. I was four years old and I wanted to try to get you to math, but we'll talk about <laughs> that. And uh, just to show that, you know, this is 
always been going on in my life. It's like, what's wrong with that guy? Well, yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> I'm just like I say. <laughs> you know. That's quite all right. That's what makes an artist. Anyway, th these are some of, this is one of the first cars. It actually fits in the tunnel. The, this particular painting here is it's only a 16 by 20 but it shows that little pyramid that you've seen it shows the Sears Tower and it shows the building I proposed building out in Lake Michigan and then um, these are solar systems this would be Earth Mars Venus and Mercury and that's our light trap that creates light speed and then here we add three solar systems into it, the three closest to us, and traveling on light beam between them. And this is really the beginning of the entire project called the Big Dipper. If you know anything about ancient Egyptian art, you will see this exact same thing inside the pyramids. They're connected in red beams. I mean, could, it, could this, look at me here. <laughs> could this have been something that already happened and mankind got so smart they just killed themselves and then they left here? What's the oldest building on earth? What's a dang pyramid? And what does it do? Let me tell you one thing. I have my theory on what it does. We'll see what you guys think. I know you think I'm off the wall. I don't care. I've been there before. <laughs> and then, like I say, this is my gorgeous pyramid. It's actually gold-plated on the outside. It has a red neon light inside. Unless you see this in person, you, you just don't even get the feel of it. I, it's it's such a spectacular piece. You know, I hate to tell you, but that, that there took me three months to build and to paint. I mean, wow. it was, there's a lot of detail. You can't see it, but I have 11 colors here. <laughs> so it's... it's uh, Here's a little more close up. The, the interior is actually a hot core where if you go in there, you get an instant suntan because there's so much power inside of it. If, if you remember me talking about the pyramids that are flying, they keep each other lit. So if it's on the dark side of the earth, they're keeping them lit. And then you also, if I'm taking too long, let me know. I'm almost oh, done. Oh, no worries, finish up. This is the tower. I don't know if she's going to let us have that in here, but we're hoping for that. And this is the topography. It's kind of it was hard to photograph, so we actually taped two pictures together. And this is the bottom of it. And thank you very much. I sure hope you come to the opening. We'll keep you posted on that. All of my subscribers need to get on board here and come down and see this. You've seen this hundreds of thousands of times on my webpage. And all you subscribers need to come down here and see me and see this artwork in person. Thank you very much.